Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're gonna go for a flight to Columbia County from Orange County, obviously. Uh, weather is okay. Ceilings are kind of high, cloudy all day. Uh, the sun's trying to pop out over there towards the uh, east there. Um, but uh, I had plans today to go to Block Island or do something out in that area, uh, Block Island, Nantucket, um, Provincetown, Massachusetts, but the weather is, is disintegrating rapidly after two o'clock, so it was not feasible today. Um, here goes the Cirrus. Got a green Cirrus taking off. Um, still waiting for my check ride. I'm hoping in the next couple weeks here, we'll get that check ride out of the way so I can fly in those places when the ceilings are a thousand feet, 800 feet. Um, so we're working on that. Other question I get, and I notice a lot of people saying, um, ATC, everybody's afraid to call ATC, not everybody, but student pilots and some private pilots, um, they don't like calling for flight following, they don't like calling ATC for information. And I gotta tell you folks, it's not hard to do. ATC is not here to bite your head off or to report you. Um, obviously you don't want to deviate for anything that they're saying. Um, airspace is obviously all the common sense stuff you can't do anyway, uh, whether it's eight, you're on with ATC or not. Um, so I'm going to show you really quickly how easy to get, how easy is it to get flight following from Orange County to Columbia County. Um, we will obviously hit up New York approach and then most likely Albany approach when we get closer to Columbia County. And uh, the airspace in New York is, you know, it's pretty busy. And, uh, you know, these guys, like I give them a lot of credit to deal with the airliners. Now that airliners are back in business for the most part, 80% um, or more. And plus dealing with the GA guys asking for flight following and also for flight plans for IFR. Uh, so, but they're always great people. Most of them have their pilot's license, nothing to be afraid of. I'd rather ask them and get permission and use flight following um, whenever I can. Um, local stuff, obviously, within 20 miles or so, there's no reason to call flight following unless you really want to practice. Uh, but cross countries, definitely do flight following if you want to. Uh, so we're gonna do that today. I'll show you how easy it is. So stick around, we're gonna hop into Mooney behind me here and go to Columbia County, of course, and get that free coffee at Columbia County. And while I'm there, I'll get some of that cheap fuel. Stick around and see you guys in the cockpit. Folks, welcome back. We are back from Oshkosh last week and uh, uh, taking the Mooney out, we're gonna go um, get some fuel. Actually, we're really gonna take a flight to Columbia County, one Bravo one. Get some fuel. You know, take a nice little flight, uh, get some uh, cheaper fuel out there. And we're going to um, talk to ATC and do flight following. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. I know most of you guys know. Um, but I do, you know, people are hesitant to talk to ATC. Um, they feel like they'll get in trouble or they talk too fast, too confused. Uh, student pilots and some uh, 
I'm a pilot. Um, but the airspace in Orange County is is, is busy, and um, we typically use ATC a lot around here, uh, and it's not hard. I understand some places in the country that are you don't really need them, um, but if you're going to fly cross country, you know anything 50 miles or 40 miles, whatever, you're going to fly. Um, I would use flight following. It's a good source. It's another source of eyes for you. So I have to maintain your visual separation from other airplanes and objects, but uh, they will call out traffic and uh, tell you if anything is hot, MOAs, any PFRs, uh, stuff like that, that for some reason in 2021 People are still violating. People are still violating the TFRs, and um, I mean, you can spend a hundred bucks a year on four flight, and uh, before you go flying, uh, check it out. Uh, you can call briefers before you go somewhere. Uh, a lot of things you can do to um, avoid flying into a TFR and getting the FAA called on you. The interview process. Uh, suspension of your license, possibly, you know, retaking your test, and so on and so forth. And there's just so much information out there that's very inexpensive that you could use to avoid all that stuff. Number one, you can use flight following. Uh, number two, uh, four flight, the basic app, the basic things you can get on four flight uh, prescription is $100 a year. And now it gives you everything. Um, it even tells you. The Dynon here will tell me as well, and the uh, stuff like that, and even the IFD 540 from Avidine will tell you. Uh, but it, it tells you when TFRs are a week away. It's a yellow circle. Um, like there's one right now. Um, we go to display full here. I don't know if you guys have seen it back. But there's one over here, and that is the air show at Greenwood Lake. It's yellow. Uh, so it's telling me uh, in a few days here, um, that it's going to, it's an upcoming event, TFR, uh, 3,000 feet to the surface. Oh, then the fourth flight would tell you all that stuff, too. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of things out there, folks, to not get in trouble. And the last thing you have to worry about getting in trouble is when you're on flight following. So, uh, yeah, call up fourth flight, get an iPad, or even, use your, even use your smartphone. I mean, I, I mean, 95% of the people probably have this by now. Um, the older people I know have these by now. Uh, so if you're flying and you're 90, there's no reason why you don't have a smartphone right now. <laughs> uh, but it will save your butt. And uh, so definitely take advantage of it's 100 bucks a year for flight. It's really inexpensive to make sure you don't get yourself in trouble. Uh, so take a look at that. Um, but we're going to do flight following out of New York. And all that fun stuff. Let's listen to the weather. We're going to take off on way four. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One two zero niner Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one six Celsius. Dew point one five Celsius. Altimeter three zero one five. Remarks. Density altitude 400. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1 2. Okay, winds are calm. We had the altimeter. I, I remember to do it in my standby, my D10A. Uh, just so everybody knows, I get it, I do get comments and emails hey, your, your uh, D10 is off compared to the um, Dynon screen here for miles per hour slash knots. Well, um, I've been using miles per hour, folks, for 12 plus years. That's what I've always used um, as a VFR pilot. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the IFR stuff we're training on is is, is knots. Now you should, I mean, it's good to use knots, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the checklist gives you both knots and, you know, or miles per hour when you're, you're V1, you're rotate and all that fun stuff. Um, well, this one is in knots. The Dynon screen is in knots. Okay, the D10 is in miles per hour. And I did that. Just as a reference right now for me to, okay, I'm on short file, if I have a lot, if I have a big, you know, a uh, lot of things going on, and I want to just really quickly glance at the miles per hour, um, just as a reference to know, okay, 
I'm good with the knots. I'm good with miles per hour. At some point, I'm going to change it to both to all knots. Um, not yet, but once I get comfortable with knots, which I am, I will change that uh, to the knots. But right now, D10A backup is in miles per hour. I know miles per hour. I know knots. Um, so I have this knots, miles per hour. I know that. Uh, I like it as a reference right now. So that's what the difference is there. Um, so we're going to go to uh, 1 Bravo 1. That's already in there. Uh, and we're going to go with direct or not. Obviously, we're going to activate the flight plan. And then Orange County, we're taking off runway 4. Um, put that in there. And don't know yet what we're using at Columbia County. Most likely, it is calm as well there. We'll check that out in a few minutes. We're going to go 3275. That is um, New York Approach. That's what I'm going to use to call for flight following, and I have Orange County's Unicom 22.725 in there already. Do the checklist. Mixtures for rich, props pull forward. I'm going to go up to 1900 or 2000 RPMs. Uh, pretty close at 19 there. I'm already getting a phone call. What else is new? Well, I'm not going to answer that right now. Can't get a break, right? Can't do my checklist without getting a phone call. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our mags. So, we're going to do right mag. Okay. This little drop, you see the exhaust temperature is going up. That's good. Go back to both. HT, we should go back down, which it is. Back to left. A little bit of a drop, no roughness. We got the uh, exhaust temperature going up. And we're going back to both. And temperature is going back down. So that's all good. No roughness. We're clear. The mags are clear. So now we're going to do the prop cycle. So RPM drop. Looking good. And we should get an oil pressure drop. Very good. And then we're going to go make sure look at the windshield. Make sure no oil is splashing up. Make sure our seals are all good. And we're good there. So prop is good. Um, the magnetos are good. Car peat test. Drop. Nice. 50, 60. Drop there in temperature. I mean in uh, RPMs. Of course our amps are good. We Your oil pressure is good. Oil temperature is good here. We're all in the green right now. Our friction lock is loose right now. We'll tighten that up a little bit when we get in the air. Um, and we're all set with there. I'm going to pull the power back to 1,000. I like to keep my a mixture out, just so I don't get any roughness. Um, with a lot of fuel dumping in idle, uh, you get the mags all messed up. Um, so we'll keep that there. Uh, we are going to go 15 flaps. So basically two pumps is 15 flaps. There's an indicator down here that says takeoff flaps. And then there's also an indicator down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not, but uh, takeoff um, um, the trim gives you an idea. Uh, when I have back passengers where I have a heavy plane, well, mostly do mostly trim down a little bit more than usual because the back's a little bit heavy, and when I get up, I don't want thing to go like this and fight it, so I just bring it down a little bit when I have a full plane here. The car peat is off. The pump is going to be on. Doors are locked. We're locked, locked, locked. Strobes are on. Landing light is on. Position lights are on. Um, so we're good there. That's basically checklist. I mean, I checked. You, you've got to walk around the plane which we all do, um, hopefully all of us do that before we take off. I check everything when I walk around. And I check this, you know, check left to right. Everything's free and correct, okay? Up, down, up, down. Um, ailerons and trim, nothing's in the way of anything. Um, and the reason why you check that, folks, and I, you know, I get those questions as well, is because if your plane's parked outside, and a lot of the guys, they put these, um, um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but they'll, they'll block the aileron so it doesn't move in the wind, and they keep, they keep it chalked, uh, and same thing with, with the ailerons. And if you forget to pull those out, you go to take off, you're not going to be able to pull up or down and hopefully have enough runway way to back the power out and, and put the brakes on. So, so you want to make sure we're all free. And the correct part is, typically do an annual, you want to make sure that you're free and correct because, or correct, because uh, they might wire it um, or do something different and where they, everything is backwards. So it's just a check. That's all it really is. Once you, you know, once it's free and correct, you know, one time, it's basically free and correct the whole time. Uh, but you check that anyway. You want to make sure free and correct, and the free part is make sure there's no chocks blocking your aileron, especially when you're tied down. A lot of guys do that, so the wind doesn't make your yoke go like this if it's windy and stuff like that. 
So while we do that, so pretty easy. So we are heading is going to be 340. We'll bug 340. We'll go to 3005. Whoop, I messed up the um, wrong one. What is it? Three. Uh, see what the Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1216 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 16 Celsius. Dew point 15 Celsius. Altimeter 3015. All right, I figured out. So I saw it on that one to make sure. 3015. I meant to touch the, um, the altitude uh, hard key here. So we're going to 3500. Going up towards north, so it's odds plus 500 VFR. And when you, what, what I do is when I always make sure, you got to make sure you put the mixture of four inch in a complex airplane. Um, because if you don't, well, if you're, it doesn't have to be a complex airplane for to have a uh, speed prop. But if you don't, uh, well, yeah, sorry. Mixture. We're talking about mixture, not the prop. I'm sorry, folks. Prop is, prop is always full forward on the ground. Uh, mixture, it's out. If you put, take off your mixture out, you're going to tear up your cylinders pretty quickly and, and overheating them. You want to make sure that's that's in. And also, in a complex plane, if you have a, a constant speed prop, you make sure that prop is full forward. If it's not full forward and you have it out, you're not going to have full max RPMs, and you're not going to climb, or you might not get out of your ground effects. So everything's full forward. Okay, so let's talk to our boys here in Orange County. See so what's going on over here. I don't see anything. No excitement. Um, let's see. I don't see anybody in the pattern. Orange County traffic. Anybody short base of final for four? Green to turning base shortly. Orange County. Okay, I have you in sight, sir. I'm going to be departing uh, four for a straight out. Orange County traffic. Okay, yes, mixture's full. Is that you? I'm sorry, repeat that. Is this Chris? Yes, it is. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, bud. How you doing? Not bad, man. Have a good flight. It's nice and calm. Finally. Yeah, go to Columbia County. Get some free coffee. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, so fuel pump is on now. Mixture is full rich. Prop is full forward. We're flat for 15. We're trimmed for takeoff. We're going to watch our fuel flow. It goes to 16 gallons per hour on, pow on uh, full power. Checklist can be stowed away now. And... Let's do it. Long runway here, over five, just over 5,000. Four and two, two, Orange County. Okay, looking good. Okay, let's do it. Full power, full power's in. We're looking for 60 knots. We're at 45. 50. And we're at 60, a little bit of back pressure, rotate, perfect. Great, sir, final runway four. Here's coming up. Here's up the lock, we'll trim down a little bit. The reason why I put the gear up, folks, early is because if you go over 80 miles per hour, it's very difficult to get the gear up. That's why I do that. And it's very easy to put back down really quickly. A little bit of fog in the valley. Okay, looking good. Flaps can come up. Orange County traffic, Mooney, uh, 8 center member, the partner pattern to the northeast, see ya. Nice little fog in the valley here. Okay, flaps up. We got the fuel pump still on. Let's get above 1,000 over the ground here, we'll pull that fuel pump off, and then we'll get flight following here in a couple seconds here. And we'll switch over and see what's going on in New York, actually, make sure it's not busy. Power can come back now. 752 contact Boston Center on the 125.5. Right, fuel pump can come off. Guide 521 heavy direct coat. Go for all. You do have Trevor. You're at 10 o'clock and about uh, 12 miles northwest bound 17,000 heavy 76. Caution with traveling. Forty nine eleven contact New York Center one three two point six good day. Okay, power five Go back twenty five twenty five with the power clock and about ten miles southbound. He's at sixteen five between Cessna.
New York, good morning. Mooney 6887 November request. Stand by, I'll be right with you. 5722, contact Boston Center, 125.57. Good day. Golf Bravo, traffic's now at your 10 o'clock and about five miles. He acknowledged me, he told me to stand by, he'll get back to me, so we'll let that happen. Heavy 76. Thank you, 9521, Travis, right off your right side, he has you in sight. Who's uh, waiting for service? Uh, Mooney 6887 November, sir. 6887 November, was it? That's correct, sir. Just a part of Orange County, climbing through 2500 for 3500. Requesting a flight following, sir, to 1 Bravo 1, Columbia County. Eight eight seven November squawk zero three one three eight ten please zero three one three here comes a flash for eight seven November what that what that does Bravo contact near approach one two zero is it, it, it flashes on their screen so they can find me quicker is all that does when they when they say I did nine five twenty one heavy contact near center one three two point six good day. Charlie Mike, up C director. So he's pretty uh, busy and he's still commenting to me, which is nice. And uh, send a main team 3000. Pull the power back. A little slow this morning. 909, Charlie Mike. The flaps are up here as uh, fuel pumps are off lane, like come off now. And we're good Valley. to go. 500 feet to go. Eight seven November, your radar contact about five uh, to the north of Stewart three thousand one hundred. Stewart altimeter is three zero one six. One six for eight seven November. Thank you, sir. And you say you're a Mooney going to Columbia in the County. That's correct, sir. One Bravo one for eight seven November. Thank you. And that's it. Now, if they get if they're busy, they might say you can't accommodate me or whatever. Um, a little guy going to over just over 50 miles to Columbia County. Altitude. Approaching altitude 3,500. Uh, so, but they're really good around here, so it's nice. All right, we're going to start leveling it's off here. Go off, Dan. Look, friends, on uh, request standby, please. All right, let's go to flight plan. Let's go to one Bravo one. Let's see what's happened over here. Power, pull the power back a little more. Okay, four six six uh, Sierra Golf. You ready to copy? Okay, so they're probably going to send cleared, me over to. Uh, they're going to send me over to to, uh, to Mount Pocono uh, via Lake. Okay. So most likely it's to be 32825. So we'll put it in the standby. They change it on me. They change it on me. So 32825 is there. It says Albany approach already identified there at the bottom. And then we're going to put in the AWAS. Uh, which is, we'll put that in the standby, so to the comm, and looking good, it's on the comm, we'll flip it, actually let's flip it now, I hear, I hear it, 133525 is their AWAS, Columbia County. Six here, golf, three back is correct, hold So we have a 12 knot right headwind, uh, three, a three knot uh, crosswind component, now it's four knots, so going to get a little bit of a crab, not much. And there's fog in the valley up here over the Hudson River, which is really cool looking from up here. And that's basically, basically nice and calm this morning. Nice and calm. And with the Mooney, uh, which is which is which is really really cool, is it it really is just very little tiny corrections uh, because you know how the Moonies turn. Um, compared to like the other aircraft, let's say, let's take a Cessna for example, uh, you can turn that yoke all the way like this. For the Mooney, it just turns That's like this. Near departure, see direct coach You're full deflection on the uh, ailerons. Um, 
909 Charlie Mike, contact me approach 120.8. So it's very small. Zero decimal eight. Little correction. Zero nine Charlie Mike, good day. And if you get it just perfect, you don't got to do any corrections. And once you uh, when you use the ailerons, uh, the rudder also yeah, turns. Twenty contact me exactly. Just so slightly. Six today. The boonies as well. So when you do a nice turnout, it's a nice uh, smooth and uh, the ball center. Uh, it's a nice turnout because you have the aileron also working with the rudder, or the rudder working with the aileron. We're all good. We have no weather out here, no TFRs. Uh, we're not going over the mountain where it's red uh, that way. Uh, so we're we're very close. 8841 heavy near. The weather, just the weather right here. That weather is why I couldn't go. Um, to Block Island, nowhere out in the east. And that's why I couldn't go anywhere this morning is because of that. And that, that's going to that's gonna hit later in the That's going to hit later today. Oh, so that's out of the out of the question, unfortunately. So that's basically how you get flight following. Pretty simple. What you're, where you're at, what you're doing, where you want to go, altitude, where you want to go altitude-wise. And once you do it, and do it, and do it, it's just easy. And I got to tell you, you guys know me. I don't hide anything. It is what it is. We're all in this together. But I was afraid as a student pilot to, to, to even go, or even as when I got my private, I was even afraid to go into um, powered airports. Let's pull the mixer out a little bit here. I was afraid to go to tower airports because I was afraid of the controller. I was afraid of the tower. And when I, when I got onto the ground, I was afraid of ground control. Uh, and I was like, I, I might get confused. I might get lost. And I look like an idiot. And I might get in trouble. And all this stuff. Um, so I understand. And then I was like, you know what? I got to stop because I'm going to go places. I'm going to practice, you know. Go over to Stewart. You know. Even, even if you're a private, you just got your private, say you're a student pilot, just, you know, doing some touch and goes, or land, taxi to a restaurant, or taxi wherever, you know. Before you even go to that airport, check your fourth flight, or check wherever you can, might be able to taxi to a radio, uh, an avionics shop, or whatever. Say you want to taxi there, and just do it. And uh, once you do it a couple times, it's like, okay, what the heck was the hard part the whole time? B-27, contact New York Center, 132.6 today. So, I understand what people tell me about calling ATC. I've been there. And most of the ATC guys, uh, they have their private. Uh, so they understand. Um, and you know what, when they get cranky, let it, let it go. I, I don't like hearing arguing on the radio between controllers and pilots, and it's usually the uh, airliners or wherever. So just, just, just let it go. Listen to what needs to get done, and just do it. Everybody has a bad day. You have to understand; these guys are in a box all day. Unless you're in the tower, in the real tower, you know. But they're looking at a box in a cubicle and looking at screens all day. So sometimes it can be frustrating when you're trying to do a thousand things at one time. And I got to tell you. A lot of them do a thousand things at one time. I love their services. I think it's great. I think it's it's great that they offer GA these, these great services. Uh, the same thing with IFR flight planning. Uh, they offer us those great services, and uh, we need to respect that. And I always do. Um, so we are on our way. We are going to one Bravo one. We're three point. We're thirty one point five nautical miles away. ETA is fifteen minutes. I'm going slow enough, but going one hundred and forty knots. Uh, true airspeed. So let me slow down more because I want to kind of slow down. Slow down. Twenty eight seven November. Squawk new code is three three five seven thirty three two seven. Thirty three two seven now for eight November. Good day. New York, uh, Booty 8, so remember, was that a different squawk change? Yeah, that's a new transponder code. 
Road for you from Mitch Kenner on the Albany Squawk, uh, 3357. Sorry about that, 3357 now on the Squawk. Oops. They changed my Squawk, I'm thinking, that's, that's not a uh, quick frequency change. <laughs> but I had the playback button here, and uh, I listened to it again. Let me, let me just verify that's a different squawk. It is. And that's what I'm saying. Were they mad at me? Were they pissed off? They tell me, call this number because it's a possible deviation? No. It's, it's, it's not. It's better. 130 knots square speed. That's a little better. That's slower now. So we have uh, fog down here, but it looks like I can see the airport. Um, I kind of know Columbia County very well, and it's uh, more inland than it is on the off the Hudson River here. Um, if you can look out the window here, you'll see the cloud coverings. Um, let me go back on course here. Um, so, but we'll be fine. Airport's beyond the fog. Contact 32.82. 32.82 now for 8, Senator. Good day, sir. Thank you. All right, let's switch over. Let's listen, listen first. Don't cut any, try not to cut anybody off. Listen for a few seconds. We're going to need departure, experimental 9 or 7, 5, Victor Tango off of uh, Schenectady. Uh, going to heading of 0, 1, 0 and 3,000 feet. Uh, experimental 975 Victor Tango, Albany departure, IDENT, climb and maintain 8,000. Victor Tango, climb and maintain 8,000 and IDENT. Albany, good morning. Mooney, eight some members with you, 3,400. Mooney, 6887 November, Albany approach, Albany altimeter 3017. 17 for eight some members. Approach, That's it. That's your switch over. And we can go downhill. Two six one eight Lima Albany approach. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. Have a good day. We don't have their weather yet. VFR, thanks for your help. We're going to shoot for three for right now. Five Victor Tango radar contact three miles north of the Schenectady Airport, leaving two thousand. Turn left direct Delancey. Okay, let's go to two thousand five hundred. Columbia County Airport. Here we go. Automated weather observation. One, two, three, seven. Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility. Uh, perfect. One, zero. Clear below. One, two, thousand. Temperature one. All right. So it's calm. We're good. We already have the altimeter. Um, so we're good to go down. So we'll use three, uh, which is perfect because that would be uh, basically a straight in. Go to procedure. We can go to RNAV three. We'll use vectors. We won't activate it quite yet. Uh, Dyna or uh, Avenine's coming out with some cool updates for the visual approach option and stuff like that. So check out Avenine uh, website uh, next quarter. There will be cool updates coming from the IFDs, which is really neat. And Albany approach, uh, Mooney, 8, 7, 7 November, can cancel with you. 8, 7 November, radar morning. services terminated, squawk VFR change, advisory frequency approved. VFR, frequency change approved, good day, thank you, sir. Okay, we'll squawk VFR. Oops. Come on, baby, there we go, VFR, perfect, done. Go back to our frequency, let's switch to... Uticom frequency, that's AWOS, so it's 12305. Oh, 2305. All right. We're all set. We're going to intercept this course. So we activated it, and we'll go over. we up pretty quick, nine miles out. Let's get down to so traffic pattern altitude is uh, 1200, so we can go down to 1200. Slow descent to 12. Columbia County traffic, good morning, Mooney, 8, 7 November, is approximately uh, eight and a half miles out to the west, inbound three, Columbia County traffic. Uh, so it appears here that the fog did come over, over the airport, and probably going to have to, obviously looks like, uh, go around here and maybe go to Sky Acres.
I want my coffee. I could go under this, but it's pretty low, it looks like. I don't want to do that. So, we'll get closer to the airport, or eight miles. Or three and a half miles out, so it might be pretty good. Let's get a little bit higher here. Columbia County traffic. Booney is three and a half miles out, or have approach three. Columbia County traffic. Let's keep going here, three miles. And maybe the other side of this, uh, um, Other side of this uh, buildup here, or it's really fog here. Uh, we could, it's not a buildup, but it's fog. We can hopefully see the airport, the other side of this. We're three miles out. Uh, let's see. Well, we could do the approach on the 2 2 side as well. Um, it's calm. Okay, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Columbia County Airport. Automated Lapse. weather observation. One, two, four, seven, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, five, hundred, scattered, temperature, one, seven, Celsius, dew point, one, four, altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. Yeah, so we're going to go around here. The airport is there, but it's a nosedive to get to it. So, let's just go around. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather here, observation. Here, coming up. One, two, four, Seven, Zulu. Okay, go around. Tom, visibility, one, zero, five. Let me kind of traffic, when you go around on a two, one. Let me kind of traffic. Four, altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. It's a little flat, a little bit at a time. Use the two, one. Columbia County Airport. Automated the gas is up. Flaps. One, two, four, eight. Zulu. Flaps are up. Wind. Calm. Visibility. One. Zero, down. Five hundred. Scattered. The runway was there, but I would have to do a nosedive. It's not practical one, for me four, <laughs> or anybody really. Zero, we'll use one, two one. So we'll use two one because this side is clear. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather observation. One, two, four, eight, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, five. Let's get a little bit higher. Scattered temperature, one, seven, Celsius. Dew point, one, four, altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. Columbia County traffic. What do you use on a left base for two, one? Columbia County traffic. Okay, we're in gear speed. Gas is still on undercarriage coming down. One four altimeter three. Sure, full rich. Prop not quite full forward yet. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather observation. One two four niner. Okay, prop full forward. So gas undercarriage mixture. Don't need that. And we'll put in some flaps. Columbia County traffic. Booney's turning the final. 2 1. Columbia County. Full stop. There you go. There's a. Now, if I was certified IFR, could have filed or do a pop up and do like a hold and then come into 2 County. 3 3. TBM uh, 86 Kilo Juliet. 500. 9 miles south inbound runway 3. And a TBM, if you're not on a flight plan uh, for the RNAV-3, it's the uh, have low fog on that side of the runway. So I came around using 2-1 is clear. Oh, well, thanks for the info. Uh, TBM 86, go to it. Columbia County traffic, Moody short final, 2-1, full stop, Columbia County traffic. Minimums. Okay, we're looking good. We're a smidgen low. Okay, so gas, undercarriage, mixture prop speed, seat belts are on. TBM 86 will be entering a left and downwind for runway 21, Columbia County. All right, looking good, looking good. Trim, check that gear, always check that gear. Looks 
good. Look, the gear light is down. Another glance at that. Bring her on in, nice and easy. All right, we'll take that one. Awesome. Extra's coming out. That was interesting. This side of the runway now, I could have could have gone down to minimums. It's, it's a little higher than minimums. Um, but hopefully in a few more weeks, I will be able to do that for us. The other side of the airport, literally like half the side, is fine. So that was funny. The things you learn every day. And Columbia County traffic would be clear to one Columbia County. Everything is going through the roof. It was 299 or 289 a few years back, and everything is just going up so high. It's going to kill aviation again, like it did back in the day, with high fuel costs and insurance costs and everything else that's going on. Maybe that's the plan. That's how they get. Maybe that's how they'll get rid of us. But we made it to Columbia County. Oh, we're going to get some fuel. Um, and uh, have some coffee and do whatever here and uh, this is there's some holes popping up here it's gonna burn off and um, we'll see you guys on the other side on the way back to orange county until then folks fly safe be safe any questions email me pilotfunder101.com also on, on facebook tiktok and instagram so check those out if you would like to and pilotfunder101.com for any merch you guys might like, might, might not like. <laughs> so, stick around. I'll see you guys. Thanks for riding along here.